we're live. Hey guys, it's Charles, and I'm here with the crackhead. Hey. From the crackhead video I posted a little while back. And we're at Taco Bell. Gonna do a little mukbang, and I'm gonna get a couple different things. And I'm ordering all mine, no tomato. Yeah, kind of weird, but that's okay. We don't judge. No yeah, judging. don't judge. If so we just got one more person in line in front of us, and we can order. I already know what I want too. Uh, here we go. Damn, I look better without the sun in my face. Hi, welcome to Taco Bell. Hi. Um, can I get one cheesy gordita crunch? Okay. And uh, let's try nacho cheese Dorito. Mm -hmm. um, the Locust Taco Supreme. Did I say that right? The Supreme? Yeah. Okay. And what did you want again? Okay, can I please get... Two Taco Supremes, no tomato, soft. I'm sorry, can you beat that for me too? Uh, two Taco Supremes with no tomato, soft shell. Okay. And um, can I also get some of those disco fries or nacho fries or whatever? We don't have the nacho fries anymore. Can oh. you see if any fell behind the, de the deep fryer? <laughs> we can give you fries with nacho cheese. No, they're KFC fries, right? Yeah. No. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> That'll do it. You sure none of them fell behind the deep fryer? Yeah, no, it's all right. Okay. All right, it should be 12 59. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You get them you so never, mad they're going to be uh, no, spitting our food. No, you, you don't know. They could have fell behind there, and they would give them to you if they had them. You know they have a secret bag that they keep and they just don't give them to the general public that they fry them up some at night when people are not around and they eat them well i believe that they have food fights occasionally and they just kind of throw food around and you know at the end of the day they got to pick it up and you don't want to waste food no so i know somebody who worked in a bakery and they actually had a trash can and when they screwed up a cake or something they just dump the cake in the can and people would just go dip their hand in the can and like eat cake right out the can and that i was previous to covid i still think they do it oh. <laughs> <laughs> i would I, if it was a thing full of cake and it was white yeah. cake because i only eat white cake I, I don't like i'm not prejudiced or anything i just don't want any other cake other than white like my wedding cake was white cake with white icing. It was like, I want white, 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 only white. No, don't even put a yellow in the egg, just white, all white. <laughs> That's it, just white. Just only one white, I don't know why, just white. Yeah, I, you know, people are gonna hate me for saying this, but I'd rather have white cake than chocolate cake. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why, but oh. it's like I could be eating chocolate cake, and you could be like, "This is really good because it's come from, from, like Bona Beef or somewhere where they put like mayo or some weird ass shit inside of the cake." But no, I don't want your chocolate cake. If you want to give me a cake and you want to be nice and you want me to appreciate it, make it white. If it's not, then I'm gonna tell you no, I don't want cake and I'm not gonna eat it. Hey, I had a funny story. What's that? So, um, I'm from the South. I'm from a small town called Evansville, Indiana, which it's not real small. They film like a league of their own there at the Otters Stadium. Huh. But, um, so my aunt, her, my uncle would come home after drinking and he would beat my aunt he would just beat on her and then he'd go fall asleep. And I don't know why he would do this, but he did. And I guess it's just because the abuse was is normal in the South and these people just put up with it. I don't know. I mean, if I could beat somebody, I wouldn't, but they did, that was normal to them. Yeah. But um, 
So my aunt got tired of it. She went and took the pillow out of the pillowcase on her side of the bed. She went to the freezer. She grabbed handfuls of things out of the freezer and started throwing them inside of the pillowcase. And then she takes the pillowcase, swings it around like this, like you would like a chicken to, to break its neck. Mm -hmm. And then she starts whacking the shit out of my uncle with it like this. And she thinks she kills him. So she calls the cops. The cops come out to the house. They they he he's half droggy he actually wakes up as the cops come into the house she's like i thought i fucking killed you and she starts getting the bag starting to swing at him again the cops come into the house and she's like i thought i killed him but i didn't and she and they're trying to take the uh the pillowcase away from her and she's still swinging it at him and they take the pillowcase they open it up they start pulling things out and they're like frozen squirrel and they're like reading the things are inside this bag well the next day the headline hits woman almost kills husband with frozen squirrel my fucking family's famous so the last name caldwell your guys whole family's fucked now you you can't get you can't even buy a trailer i don't know what you can get oh. with the last name caldwell you know after you get uh, you get put in the paper saying you almost kill your husband with the frozen squirrel you can't get equity nothing you know you food stamp might be out of the question because you get your own meat that's too bad yeah so i wonder what squirrel tastes like oh i had it it's good it's good it's it it what's weird is the way the bone is shaped around the meat like the meat is really like muscly but it's very much like chicken but a little bit tougher and gamey hmm. but but it's really weird when you're eating the meat because it's because you're used to the way meat is on chicken yeah then you're eating around different pieces of bone so it's a little bit freaky like you're i don't know it's just a little bit weird it's like frog legs it's like you're learning how to eat around a new piece of meat yeah it's like something yeah. new like possum possum is greasy it's really greasy Ugh. but i've eaten it but it's greasy and rabbit's good in a stew or something. I think I've had a rabbit. Turtle's good. And deer is awesome. Yes. Steak, deer steak is really good. I got a friend who makes deer jerky, and I, it's really good. Yeah. And we're going to have tacos. No wild animal involved, except for, I, no, they don't use old employees for, for the meat. Most they? likely cow, I would think. Yeah, cow. Probably cow. Yeah. In other countries, they may use cats and stuff. You never know. He probably, like, he may society special. Oh. Like, this one hasn't been adopted in, like, two months. Send it to Taco Bell. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> no, like, I'm sure. They, they, they probably serve, like, spam or something in another country. Like, I know that in McDonald's and, uh, like, in China, I think they serve Spam and stuff like that, I mm. think. I don't know. I'm not sure. This line is moving really slow. It's really slow. Because we're nine minutes in already and still not eating yet. A little disappointed and hungry. I know, and I was, I, I guess I like her, um ingenuity to say we can offer you cheese and some fries I from went our, for it. our other business you can dip some regular ass fries and some cheese and you can pretend like yes, there pretend. are nacho fries but they're really not when I want the ones that they've been hoarding in the back because you know there's a bag left over all they have to do is fry them up for me look how much time they had nine minutes they could have fried up some of those secret fries and i could have had some absolutely because you know the employees stash some so for themselves oh they totally do yeah. totally do it's shameful you guys like my shirt it's true i pooped i don't have a shirt like that mine's i have a shirt at home it says that's a terrible idea. What time? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get you a poop shirt. No, and I have another one that says, um, 
you would uh, you would understand me if you knew my parents. It's mm -hmm. a good one. Oh, and almost handsome. I got an almost handsome. Almost. Almost. This close. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, you know, fish, you know. Yeah. Look, I'm paying for this with ones and fives. I don't even remember what the total was. 11 something, was it? We only ordered four things. Look, she, we better get a discount. We've been waiting. I think we should see if we get a discount. Like, can you round it down or something? Yeah. Like, how much gas did we burn? This, I know this is a hybrid, but I bet it used some electricity or gas or something. We should deduct it automatically. Like, sure. okay, if they say it's five dollars and something, we'll say, would you go for a five? They might go for that. Some places will. Yeah. Look, I don't have any other money. I don't have any other money. Hide it underneath your ass and then just say, got a five though because i mean what are they gonna do they're gonna hold up the whole line while arguing with you yeah they'll be like but no we need the rest of the money i'd be like but you can use that discount code we're employees you don't know what store i work at i'm doing you a review right now you see that camera <laughs> that camera's on for a reason we've been waiting in this line and we've been discussing the tone and the fact that how creative you were with the offer of the bootleg fries instead of the legit fries that you have that you're hiding. The good stuff in the back. Yeah. The stuff you ain't, you're not. Oh, look, somebody else is using cash and not a card. Oh, my phone just beeped him. I had it between my legs. <laughs> it kind of hummed. <laughs> Sorry, I liked it actually. So, so earlier today I did a mukbang at uh, Popeyes, and we were behind this car, and there's a kid sitting in the back seat, and he was beating himself in the head with an umbrella, while his dad was just totally ignoring him. I thought it was freaking hilarious. Oh yeah, I would, I, I'd be like, and he he just kept whacking himself. I and would, this went on for like four minutes, maybe? I would have done it until the dad thought I was something wrong with me, until he looked into the back seat and seen that his child was special needs. I don't, I don't even think the child was special needs. I think the child was just not right. I know, but I, I would have kept doing it to myself until the dad mm -hmm. eventually realized his son was doing it. That was... I don't know. I don't know if there's something special or, or they added flavor or something. Ice Mountain is good water. But this is actually good. I was very gonna, good. I was gonna say, um, did they add minerals or there's no? It's a hundred percent natural spring. I mean, whatever spring this oh. came out of. I mean, I would drink somebody's bath water out of this if this was their bath water. I mean, this is pretty good. I knew someone who did not believe me that I only drank Ice Mountain and I did not like any other bottled water. I like Hinkley Springs though. See, I don't, but she didn't believe me. So we actually did a test where we put- And you passed. Yeah, I did. We put like three different- um... Hi. Hi. 12.59. 12? We only ordered four things. Okay. Hold on. Look, look, I got part of the money. What about- She's in a hurry. Her? She's not in a hurry. You made me wait forever. You're gonna talk to me for a while. What? How much money now? They took them out of the store, so we don't have that all. <laughs> okay. And you can get me disco fries, right? No? Okay. How much is it? 5, 10, load till 13, one more. Okay. There we go. Thank you. So we did a, a test with the water. I almost got away with it. In like three different cups, or three different brands of water in there. And I identified Ice Mountain. She can keep the change. She can keep the change. Let okay. Keep the change. God knows what they're doing with our food right now. No. Two edges. They're, they're not going to do anything to it. I'm so hungry. I can't wait. Yeah.
No, we Keep don't want the chains. The chains. Please, we don't. We don't want the chains. chains. No, no. You, you know what? For you earned up with it. Him, you earned, it. earned every penny, you girl. You yeah, yes. Um, I, I want hot. I want hot, hot and mild. H hook me up. Hook us up like you like us. Like you love us. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna help. <laughs> I don't think I she think loves this us. Gonna help. She doesn't love us. No. I think she might have like. She's like, God, get these people out of this line. She's like, they. I'm going to go tell the people in the kitchen that these people are f weird or funny or something. Weird. Yeah, maybe weird, maybe weird. That she might be weird. I think even the people behind us are just like smiling. Yeah, stare. I think they're like, I think they're eccentric or something. Because I've been called that before. Thank you. You're going to miss us. You're going to miss us. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Bye. There's like a pothole right there. I get stuck in every time I come here. This is, hey, this is hot. She, they like this. This, this is my crotch is getting hot. Oh. This bag is hot. Everything in here is fresh. This is a good spot to park here. No sun. No sun. And I look, look, look the lighting is perfect. Good. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> here you go. What do we got? And it, she hooked us. She up. hooked us. Oh my God! We got enough for like a month. I could take it to work and sell it to people from other countries. <laughs> they buy it. All right, we have a soft taco. I presume that's yours. You didn't order a soft taco, did you? I don't think so. No. More sauce. More sauce. We even got more sauce. I got Which two soft parkas. I don't even remember what I ordered, so. You ordered something with uh, uh, with the... Mine looks like Sloppy Joe. It is so thrown together. Yeah, it does. I don't even know how to explain well, it. We should do a clickbait photo first. You know, I gotta make people want to click on and watch this, because this was a special one. Oh, see half, well, I'll show them in a minute. This, this place is a half KFC, half Taco Bell, so mm -hmm. this that's, is misleading. That's how we got the fries, the, the, almost the the bootleg fries. All right, here we go. Let's. I think I got too much front showing in my back or whatever. <laughs> ah, yay! Okay. So yeah, the bag looks like this. The Colonel with his little tiny arms and feet. Kentucky Fried Chicken. It should say and Taco Bell, but it doesn't. The five second rule didn't apply. I dropped cheese in my crotch and I still ate it. Oh. Mmm. Need sauce? Mm -mm. It actually doesn't need nothing. It's good. This is mild. This is hot. Okay. And it says hot. I mean. So this has a soft shell on the outside and a hard shell in the middle. And in between the two is a bunch of stuff. Cheese. And then you got your, you know, your lettuce and your your white special sauce and your meat and it's just all kinds of goodness. Here's my problem. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm just experiencing it right now. I've got two tacos on my lap, and I just ripped the corner off my hot sauce packet. Mm -hmm. I got two open tacos. What do you do with the wrapper? What do you do with the end? And then what do you do with this after you squeeze all the shit out of it? Like You put it in the bag. You put it in the bag. Mm -hmm. But don't you have another taco in the bag? It's okay. It's wrapped up. Okay, I'm going to drop my, my thing. I was like, it's, it's almost like you have... You're at a bar and you have a beer in your hand, mm -hmm. and then somebody's asking you if you want to dance. It's like, do I set it down and get a chance of getting rupeed, or do I try to dance with the beer in my hand? Or, mm -hmm. or what do you, you know, it's like I, I don't know what to do with both of these things. Like, they don't really, I don't know, they don't, I wasn't sure. Mmm, this is good. 
Oh, because I do crack, it's the only thing I've eaten all day. Oh, you must be hungry. Yeah. Although with crack, don't you lose your appetite or how does that work? No, with crack, you you spend your money on crack, not food. Okay. I think you're still hungry on crack, but crack is so much more fulfilling. <laughs> I don't remember that. Well, I mean, I'm not a professional. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm mm. only doing it for the weight loss. Mm. I want to keep my teeth. Mm -hmm. I want to yeah, keep. Then you can't eat. Yeah, then I can't eat. So, if you do crack half the time, you get to keep half your teeth. Okay. So, it's it's a pretty good. Diet. Something in here was spicy because I just got hot. I don't know what it is though. So. I don't even know what I ordered. I don't remember. You just have lettuce land on your crotch. I'm going to put it in the bag. I'm a messy eater. I know that. Here's something a lot of people don't know. Hmm. I have like the widest time. Look. Damn! Here's my other taco. I'm still on the first bite, and he's already whooped one down. Oh, this is the Dorito one. He's eating the Dorito one now. He's just now getting to the Dorito one. I'm getting to my first bite. Oh, look at this. They got this cool looking uh, packaging. Mm-hmm. I am just dropping shit everywhere. I need a towel. This is a towel in the back seat. You want to... A wrapper? I got a wrapper. Nah. Even though with the crack habit, this is still Abercrombie and Finch. This right here. Was it a gift? I can put, no. I bought it from a thrift store. Okay. You find some good stuff there sometimes. Yeah. I got like six Abercrombie and Finch. Ooh, my phone just vibrated again. <laughs> Good times. So, do they want, am I supposed to take this out of the sleeve or just, well, I guess I have to. I think you, I think you do like a slide and chomp, slide and chomp. Okay. Try that. Okay. Yeah. No, if you want to refer to me, crack is not my first passion. I have, um, I love photography and I own a small online business, but, um, cliff i'm like the third person with the same exact name it's not because they wanted to pass the name down it's because they couldn't spell anything different so they just kept adding so now i'm, I'm a third so it's ba cliff whatever oh look that's that's pretty clever looks good how does it taste? Not as good as that other one. This one tastes like they ran out of sour cream, so they just give me more cheese. Well, at least they gave you something. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like I need to go back over to that window and no, talk to her. She is not going to talk to you. Yeah, if I go back there and talk to her, I'm going to ask her if they are looking for any part-time help. <laughs> And she's probably going to say, yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to say, okay, what do you need mm. part-time? Or, or she's going to say, well, what kind of part-time help are you looking to do? And I'm like, well, I'm going to help you find the recipe to this taco because you totally forgot how to fucking make it. <laughs> Did the recipe fall behind the deep fryer with the disco fries or something? Because... Or is it blown around with the trash in the parking lot? Because look, this parking lot does have trash in it. Oh, I bet there's some fries out there too. Yeah, there's probably old fries and they didn't even offer to help me find the fries in the parking lot. But, okay, but they forgot how to make a taco for me. But him, they, they hooked him up. They he's, sat, he's totally satisfied. Now he's not as satisfied with the second taco because there's been no noise. He's like ho-hum about this one. But the first one, he was happy he ate that one. Mm -hmm. So, rewind the video, go to where I was ordering, because I don't remember what I ordered. 
whatever it was I ordered, get that. But the Dorito one, I can pass on it. Maybe he can watch it and then I put it in the description. Put it in the description I like, try to remember that. The first taco was fucking on. The second taco, don't order that one. Unless you're just hungry and it's cheap or something. Maybe Some we'll, people maybe, might like it. Maybe we'll um, put the price of it or something. And you can say, if you're on a bougie or a budget or something, order this taco. But if you want to be happy at the end of the day, order taco number one. Yeah. Now that Dorito one, it was okay. I ate it. I ate the whole thing. Would I get it again? Probably not, although maybe, I don't know. I I had hot salsa the first time, and it wasn't hot enough. Maybe we need two to make it hotter. I don't think two would do it. Did they give us fire sauce? And now I taste like Crisco or something. It tastes like animal fat or something. We didn't get any fire sauce. They just gave us, well, I guess that's because I asked for mild and hot, didn't I? Yeah. So she did, you know what? I'd say, can I have your bag? Can I have the bag? Can I put this in there? Yeah, it's all garbage. I think that she did her job 100%. Oh, sure. So, kudos to her. You know what? Work that one, though. She's got to put up with all those people. Some of those people are complaining because it's taking too long. You know, come on. She's got to put up with all that crap. So, uh, is there anything else you want to tell the viewers there's a song I know sing it okay um, it's, it's from the south uh, got a skeeter on my Peter knock it off got a skeeter on my Peter knock it off got a dozen on my cousin can't you hear those bastards buzzing got a skeeter on my Peter knock it off that's it I like that yeah, it's, you know, I, you always want to. Do they play it on the radio down south? No, but I wanted to end it like they would on um, Andy Griffith. I wanted to end it with the song. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And and only do crack half the time. Half the you time. You want to keep your teeth. It's very important to keep your teeth. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.